Hey everyone, my name is Rich Moscoso, Senior Manager for the FAE team located here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And today I just want to talk about uh, our PTZ management uh, software. Uh, it's really an excellent tool for uh, accessing all those cameras out there on the network. Uh, just keep in, in mind, it is a on-prem type solution. So, you know, whether it's two cameras or 102 cameras uh, that you're wanting to access there, uh, just note it is not server-based, right? It's going to be loaded onto a Windows machine. So we'll talk about more of that information here in this video. As always, I can be reached at rich.moscoso at aver.com should you have any questions uh, after this video. So a quick overview. Uh, please note that this PTZ management software is free, right? You just go to our averusa.com website and you can download it. Um, there is uh, user management, right? You, so you can create different users with different uh, login profiles. So there's uh, access for up to 100 different users and there's two user profiles. From there you can access the cameras over the network. So up to 256 cameras per console. So what that means if you have computer A on the second floor or in your office you can access 256 cameras and uh, if you install this same software at a different location, say on the fifth floor on a different building, uh, then you could also access those same 256 cameras. And if you should have more than that, then you would have to load two instances to gain access to the additional cameras that are above 256 cameras. But from here, you have access to all those cameras. You can, uh, you can call up uh, presets, save presets. Uh, and again, it's support for Windows 10 and, and 11 currently. Some new features that were added. Um, there's scheduling, and then of course there's a status. So one of the big ones is camera, any camera on the network, if they happen to lose connection for some reason, whether it's a network failure or something else, then it, it would be nice, or wouldn't it be nice to be able to get notification. So from within this uh, PTZ management, there is a scheduling feature that will send you an email uh, if a particular camera happens to go offline. And I'll go into more detail on that here currently. So let me show you some of that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to averusa.com, go to the ProAV website, and in the upper right here, go to where it says support. Just click right on the word support. From there, look for software, and then look for software all. Here we will have all of our software available. If you scroll down, you will see PTZ Management. Our current version is 1058, so please download that. Again, it's for Windows only. There's also release notes and a user manual as well. So let me minimize that. Let me go ahead and open this up. So I already created uh, a couple different users, right? So I mentioned before there's a support of up to 100 different users. Once you install it, you'll have an icon like this, Aver PTZ Management. You launch it, you should get this login. The default is admin admin, but I already created a user, and you can delete the admin admin as well. And again, I'm logging in with my credentials. So I created my user, Rich, and he is under setup user. He's an admin. So what does that mean? An admin can actually add users, delete users, uh, edit them, change their privileges, right? So when Dave or Eddie log in, uh, they only have user privileges, right? So you can actually come in here and change whether they're a user or an admin. So I'll cancel out of there. But when you first log in here, it's gonna you're going to have a bunch of nothing, a bunch of empty space. But just so you know, in the upper left here, these are all the groups that I've created. So whatever's going to make sense for, for your location. If you're at a university, a hospital, uh, maybe you're at a church and you just want to be able to manage three cameras that are on your network, this is a great little preview monitor to be able to select the camera and maybe have it go to a specific preset or even save a specific preset 
uh, on the fly. Or maybe just make a, just a little bit of a, an adjustment. You want to get the drummer in the background or the guitars, different angle. You could do that. Um, there's also a cool feature called Cruise. So this this gives you the, the ability to have the camera automatically go to certain presets, right? And on their own. So whether it's every five seconds, every 10 seconds, every 25 seconds, you can just have this uh, automatically go on cruise control. So uh, totally up to you how you want to use that. So for instance, if I disable this and hit these three little dots, I have nothing to find in here. So that's why nothing, nothing worked. But it's really simple. I want to go to preset zero. I want to hang out there for five seconds. I want to go to another preset. Let's just call it number one. I'm going to hang out there for another five seconds. Uh, over here, I know there's a there's a number eight. I'm going to hang out there for five seconds. It's really simple, right? And go back to zero and maybe hang out there for another five seconds. So I'm going to save that. So now I'm going to double click here just to see that one camera, right? And now I'm going to go ahead and hit enable. Again, the way we have this defined, it's gonna to go to preset zero for five seconds. Then it's gonna to go to preset one for five seconds. After five seconds, it's gonna to go to this other preset number eight here. And it's gonna hang out there for five seconds and then it's gonna come back here. So really useful if, if someone calls in sick and then you're really looking for, you, you don't, you're down a camera operator and you just need a way to have that camera just kinda of go to certain presets. Again, the drummer, guitarist, lead singer, the choir, whatever the case may be, um, really beneficial. So then here you can just disable that and then you're back to your normal mode. Again, you don't have to do the double click here. I just wanted to bring this up to, to be a, a closer look. Um, there's different views, right? There's single, quad, by 16, and I think this is by 25. So it'll actually show you all 25 cameras here laid out. So whatever's going to, um, you know, depending on your monitor and that sort of thing. So there, there are, there is support for 720. So if you go to system, there's a resolution display for 720 and 1080. So depending on what sort of monitors you're using, uh, you may have to tweak this. Uh, again, this is for the for the GUI, right? To kind of show, uh, to readjust for for the pixels and what kind of monitoring you're using. So. So just real quick, um, under system, this is where you're gonna see the version number. If you happen to take a snapshot, uh, adjust resolution, as I just mentioned. There's also support for camera control. I'll probably create another video for that, but that's really for, uh, if you wanna use our CL01 camera controller and you just wanna connect it direct to the computer that PTZ management is running. Um, and although there's there's buttons and, and mouse clicks you can use here, uh, wouldn't it be nice just to be able to grab the CL01 controller based on which camera you selected and then just use the CL01 to control that camera. So another, an, yet another option for, for the CL01 and the PTZ management. So as far as some of the new features, uh, if I go to device here, uh, let me go to management. So say, for instance, uh, I put a new camera in. This, this tab, this management tab is really useful. It, it shows you a complete list of all your cameras out there and the firmware version, the status, if you want to do a quick reboot from here, if you want to turn the camera on or off. But what I did want to talk about really quick in this video is uh, system notifications and scheduling. So system notifications, you just come up here, you edit. You can say, I want to have uh, notifications sent to me if new firmware is available or, or if a camera has lost connection, right? And you can decide if it's gonna be all the cameras that you have or a specific group, or maybe there's a specific camera, right? Maybe there's a specific camera that's kind of been giving you a headache. For some reason or another, this uh, TR313 V2 camera in room 313 has been causing an issue and you haven't had time to chase it down. You don't know if it's a cable issue, a network port issue, a PoE plus issue, or what's going on. But it would be nice to have notification uh, as soon as it happens. So 
I'm just selecting this specific device. I hit save, and then you can enable it. Um, one other thing to, to, to note is that you do have to put your email in here under settings, so you, it does need to be uh, configured that way. And this PTZ management software would need to be on a, have access to a network uh, that has internet access. So that's system notifications, uh, scheduling. So you can actually have uh, different schedules. If you would like, um, let me just click uh, add schedule. If you would like certain cameras or certain group of cameras, right, to do a reboot, a weekly reboot, right? Say on Wednesday, I want the College of Engineering to reboot at six in the morning or 10 at night, whatever is gonna make sense. Uh, you could do that and then maybe the college of business you're going to do a reboot on thursday at six in the morning i'll hit save and now this college of business on thursday six in the morning is going to do a reboot so from here you can actually enable or disable it from here So that's it, just a quick tour of PTZ management, some of the, the new cooler features that are available for uh, system notification as well as scheduling. As always, thank you and good luck.